When it comes to pizza in Titusville, there are many different options to choose from, even if you feel like pizza from Valentino's, because there are two locations in Titusville for this small family-owned restaurant. On this evening, we chose to visit the Garden Street Valentino's, located within the public shopping plaza. As we approach the plaza, there is no mistake of the location of Valentino's. The windows are full of information and decorations. Hmm, is that Mr. Valentino himself welcoming us into his restaurant? I sure hope so. As we enter, we pick a booth in the corner and start looking over the menu. With so many options to choose from, it's hard to decide what to eat. But before we even entered, we were both in the mood for some New York-style pizza. The choices of pizza toppings were aplenty, and they also had some great specialty pizzas. So we went ahead and picked the Valentino Special, with an addition of eggplant, because that's how we roll. The order was placed, and while we waited, it was time to enjoy the atmosphere around the restaurant while we sipped on our drinks. Are those gumball machines? It looks like dessert is on me tonight. <laughs> Just kidding. We'll get something tastier. Hey, Jennifer, check out that fancy brickwork. Feels like we're in the city. Just before our pizza came out, we got our pizza stand ready. And it looks like Jennifer is ready, too. Let's bring on the good stuff. And there it is. Oh, wow. Check out all those toppings. Now that's a full pizza. Hey, Jennifer, I think we'll definitely be getting a box for the leftovers. There is no way we'll eat all that. It was time to start this project of a pizza. But first, some additional toppings. Some Parmesan cheese and hot pepper flakes are a necessary addition. The pizza was fantastic, and we kept on going back for more slices. But as hard as we tried to finish it, there was just too much. Plus, we wanted to save room for dessert. Now that's the sign of a good meal. Nothing but the crumbs. And a little bit of leftover toppings. Now it was time to move on to something sweet. Did someone say, cannolis? <laughs> yes, please. In fact, bring us each one. Before we knew it, a plate of celebration was presented to us. Now that's what I'm talking about. The cannolis didn't last long at our table, and we were enjoying the filling and sprinkles. Yep, nothing but powdered sugar left. Sorry, Jennifer, we're all out of the cannolis. It's time to go home. Our bill was paid, and we headed on out. Our visit to Valentino's is over for now, but we'll be going back again, because the pizza is full of toppings, the cannolis are full of color and flavor, and the brickwork is, well, just plain fancy.